What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Again! 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 When I fall, I get up again. When I fall, when I fall, when I fall, when I fall. This is, you know, this is, this is our life. Our life is raising people, sharing our experiences, sharing our failures, and all of this. And so uh, I hope you could, you could feel where our heart is coming from. We're genuine people. Okay, we're not, I mean, they gave us the title founder, but really everyone is the founder of this company. You're coming in today, you are a founder of this company. Take ownership, Vijay would always say. I would say this, take ownership from day one. From day one, take ownership. This is your company. Make QNET your vehicle. Hello and welcome. My name is Alonda Carter and I am the Recovering Hunbot. It has been a minute since I did a deep dive. Last year, we bought a home and got custody of my husband's two teenage boys. So there have been um, a lot of adjustments. And for a long time, my home office was just a land of boxes. It's not totally set up, but at least I have some furniture in place. This deep dive, I think, is going to be in parts because there's just so much to cover. So sit back and let's get to it. Oh, and by the way, if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. To support my channel, I just ask that you watch this video to the end and give it a thumbs up. If you have time, leave a comment so more people will have a chance to view it. This video covers the two guys that started QNET. VJ Esoran, I probably didn't say that right, but you know, sorry, and Joseph Bismarck. Now back in the 90s, VJ and Joseph were living large and doing well in this name not mentioned American network marketing company they joined and had formed this thing called the V Team. VJ was Joseph's upline. Supposedly, this American company was not being truthful with them, so these guys, being the upstanding citizens that they were, decided that they would venture out on their own, and in September of 98, at the height of the Asian economic crisis, they created their own company in Hong Kong. They sound like heroes, huh? QNET Limited, which is formerly known as QuestNet and also as GoldQuest, is a multi-level marketing company owned by the Key Group. I know so many names and it gets confusing. Now you get why this needs to be a multi-parter. VJ S. Waran was born the 7th of October in 1960 in Penang, Malaysia to Indian parents. He has a younger brother named Vignesh. VJ worked as a cab driver to finance his education in the UK where he attended the London School of Economics and in 1984 he earned his degree in socioeconomics. After graduating, he traveled around Europe for a year, which included him staying over a month in a Franciscan monastery where he took a vow of silence for 33 days. To get by during his travels, VJ performed odd jobs. He returned to the UK in 1985 and learned about the binary system and marketing and obtained credentials from the Chartered Institute of Management for Accountants. In 1986, BJ traveled to the U.S. and attended the Southern Illinois University, where he earned his MBA. He was involved in multi-level marketing on a part-time basis while working for a subsidiary of IBM called Systematics. Thirteen years later, he returned to Malaysia and was approached by a multi-level marketing company called the Gosway Group to start its Philippine branch. This is when VJ began looking at MLM more seriously. In 2007, the company VJ helped found 
which was originally called Gold Quest, was accused of being a pyramid scheme. VJ was arrested and accused of committing fraud. However, he was released after three weeks and the charges were dropped. Although he was set free, VJ looks back at this time as the consequences for building a business in which people feel cheated in a get-rich-quick scheme. This will not be the only controversy associated with QNET. In 2013, according to an article produced by Business for Home, VJ received the Malaysian Business Award, CEO of the Year of 2013, by the ASEAN Business Advisory Council of Malaysia. Business for Home is happy to report this type of news, as long as you pay them to do so, by the way. The founder, Ted, and his wife, Dini, have a history with multi-level marketing, they were involved with Juice Plus and Bima. The latter is a defunct MLM found to be a pyramid scheme. If you want to know more about Teddy Boy and his wife, I will try to remember to put a link to the video I did about Ted here. Vijay is also the chairman of the Council of the Quest International University, or QUIP, which is also part of Key City. The university was founded in 2008 and is owned by the state government of Perak and the Key Group. In 2017, VJ and a subsidiary of the Key Group, Green Venture Capital, began developing Key City, which is a commercial and residential development in Malaysia that includes a teaching hospital and it combines both private and public medical services. On his website, VJ describes himself as an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and thought leader. VJ is the author of several books. The first book he wrote, In the Sphere of Silence, was published in 2005. It is said to have been influenced by his experience in the monastery and the vow of silence he took. His other books include In the Thinking Zone, published in 2010. 18 Stepping Stones, published in 2011, On the Wings of Thought, also published in 2011, Two Minutes from the Abyss, which was published in 2016, and in 2020, he published Internet Marketing Lifestyle, which I find ironic considering what was sweeping through the world at the time. On the surface, it appears VJ is doing good in the world, but if you have been consuming any anti-multi-level marketing content, you know things are not what they seem in the world of MLM and that deception is built into the overall structure. Now let's take a look at DJ's partner, Joseph Bismarck. Joseph Bismarck was born April 10, 1962 and is described as a successful entrepreneur, motivational speaker, life coach, and an accomplished author. As a young boy, Joseph was introduced to martial arts, music, yoga, and Vedic studies. At the age of 17, he worked in an office. In 1998, he founded a multi-level marketing company that would become known as QNET with Vijay Esran that falls under the umbrella of the Key Group. In December of 2008, Joseph took on the role of managing director for the Key Group. He restructured the company with growth in mind. Under the Key Group is the V. The V focuses on training and education of global entrepreneurs. The Key Group itself provides vacation club memberships, holiday packages, and leisure travel packages to specific business sectors. In November of 2014, Joseph founded the Singapore School of Meditation and Yoga. He is a strict vegetarian, plays classical guitar, and enjoys growing bonsai. Additionally, he is a Tai Chi coach. In 2005, Raise Yourself to Help Mankind, or Rhythm, was created by Joseph and his partner Vijay. The foundation is a charitable trust based in Hong Kong representing key spirit, compassion, and dedication to serving the communities in which it operates around the world. Overall, Rhythm caters to the well-being of children in several Asian countries, including their education and health care. Joseph is also the author of a book published in 2010 
called the Gem Collection, a compilation of wisdom. It is based on his words of inspiration and motivation, along with his belief in positive thinking. You may be able to pick up the book on Goodreads or Google Books, but it is not readily available, so I don't think it was a bestseller. These days, you can just follow him on Twitter or Instagram to get those little nuggets dropped on you if you are so inclined. He lives with his wife and children in Dubai. If you have been following me and my coverage of On Passive, the fact this man lives in the scam capital of the world should tell you a lot. Nothing stands still. Nothing. Trees grow. Cities grow. Rivers flow. Are you with me? The climate changes. Nature itself evolves. Everything changes at some pace or another. If you choose not to change, you're going against nature itself. Your cells in your body are changing. Your body itself is changing. Whether you recognize it or not, you're looking older than you were every single day. And yet, you choose to basically sit back and allow things to happen. That is the greatest disease of all. And you choose to blame everybody and anybody else out there except yourself. I cannot change all of you, but there are some of you that I really want to change. Somewhere here is a hundred people whose lives need to change. This hundred people must leave this stadium tonight with change written in their hearts. This hundred people have only one name. This has to come from your heart as if your life depends upon it because your life does depend upon it. What is your name? Hey. 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 Again! Hey. Again! Hey. Again! Hey. We are not here to talk about things to make you happy alone. We are here to make you face reality. It's nice to live in this vision, not this dream world where you're making millions of dollars, rolling in money, driving fancy cars, flying all over the place, this, that, and the other, and then boom, you wake up and it's morning already. You see, to do that in the real world means you need to transform yourself. You will have no reason to go to a movie if the, your real life is better than any movie. So you are here to wake up. You are here to arise. You are here to awake and you are here to achieve. That's it. Three steps. Arise, awake, achieve. Arise, awake, achieve. Arise, awake, achieve. And that's what you say to yourself every morning. And then you say to yourself every night, when I fall, I get up again. When I fall, when I fall, when I fall, when I fall, this is, you know, this is, this is our life. Our life is raising people, sharing our experiences, sharing our failures and all of this. And so uh, I hope you could, you could feel where our heart is coming from. We're genuine people. Okay. We're not, I mean, they gave us the title founder, but really everyone is the founder of this company. You're coming in today. You are a founder of this company. Take ownership. Vijay would always say, I would say this, take ownership from day one. From day one, take ownership. This is your company. Make QNET your vehicle. Start caring for others. Start doing something outside of yourself. And because you get busy with that, you lessen the bad habits. It's being replaced with something positive, something sweeter, something with nourish your heart nourish your soul because this is just what's gonna make you happy don't be a fly so you also have be like people and we have to be a bee person who focuses on positivity of people that's what you need to share all the positivity that you have here there's negativity that you got also here there's stuff why share that back home? Share all the nice stuff. So you make that change, no doubt about it. 
you're going to be the person you would want to be. So you choose tonight. What do I want to be? Change. Replace your bad habits with good habits. And you begin with that. And there's no doubt that you're going to be a very successful person. Batman, I didn't really have what you call a mission or vision. I just wanted to put food on the table. But I was uh, very fortunate that I had an upline. VJ is our upline. Yeah, he is my upline. He is still my upline. That actually pushed me to grow. In fact, he believed in me more than I believed in myself. In fact, the first time I was going to do a sort of like a presentation, first time I was so nervous, okay? And he started introducing, you know how this just, this, uh, what do you call this? The edification, the hype, introducing a speaker. So I thought, oh my God, who's that speaker? You know what I mean? I was thinking there's probably a new speaker that I've not met, old friend of VJ. And ladies and gentlemen, the master of one-on-one. -on -one. So I started looking at the back. I started looking, you know, who's that master? Oh, Mike, I got to meet this guy. The master of one-on-one. -on -one. Then my name comes. I stood up there, okay, a bit, little bit pretending I was like the master of one-on-one, -on -one, but inside of me, I was dead scared. But see, that built, that, because of that edification, it gave me some confidence. Now I have to show that I'm the master of all, you know what I mean? Not show, but you got to tell a story about them, yeah? And that story, you have to hear the story. You have to believe in your story. Because if you know what story you have, and if that story is negative, you start believing in it. And it starts becoming you. And this is really what network marketing is all about. In fact, today, we are... I'm, I am made of all the positive inputs that my upline shared with me. How do you empower someone? You empower someone by motivating them, by giving them all the wonderful talks, the pep talks, the positivity, all the things that you tell them that what they could be or who they are. Even if they're not there yet, you could tell them, you are this person. So I started believing in those. It's not a hype, but I started believing in those stories. And I started making those stories my story of my life. Overall, both men, in my opinion, try to whitewash the narrative as those who have gone before them have done so. Scammers are very adept at playing the long game of hiding in plain sight and establishing charitable foundations or donating to them so that what is really going on is less noticeable. They want to be thought of as the good guy. This is not anything new in the world of fraud and deception. As we continue to explore the world of QNET, pay close attention to the way they communicate and the language used. What they claim to be and what they are most likely are at odds. You need to be on your toes to avoid being taken in by people who want to lead you down the garden path to ruin while they fatten their bellies with your pocketbook. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, don't forget you're beautiful and I love you.